In my last video, I said, okay, maybe some 3D printed mods are a waste of time. It was supposed to be a funny little joke about a bad 3D printer mod. Turns out it was just a bad joke, but a pretty fun little project. This whole video is actually about that part that I showed at the end of my last video. So if you haven't seen that, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You can skip it. Honestly, the best part of that video is this video. Thing is though, when I recorded that, I didn't even know what kind of 3D printer mod I was gonna make. I figured it wouldn't be hard to find a dumb 3D printer mod. So the first thing I did was look at various model sites to see if anybody had made a sufficiently stupid mod. But for some weird reason, no one was uploading models called the dumbest Ender 3 mod ever. So I had to make one myself. I started by blankly staring at my printer, but that didn't achieve anything. So I went back to the internet for inspiration. And basically there's three categories of mods. Useful printer upgrades, aesthetic printer customization, and tool holders. So many tool holders. Yeah, I printed out some tool holders when I first got my printer, but I didn't like them. Like why use this cool little drawer to keep my tools in when I could just have them sticking out all over the place, getting in the way and falling out if I move my printer. I'm just gonna say it. I think 3D printer mounted tool holders are unnecessary and dumb. So that's the perfect place to start. But if I'm gonna make a pointless tool holder, then I have to make it for the greatest tool of all time. Hey. The spudger. These guys are pretty underrated, I reckon. I first came across these when I worked at the Apple store in Regent Street in London. Yeah, I've traveled, it's no big deal. But when I worked there, this, was the biggest selling MacBook. And we called these little guys black sticks. They're mostly used in PC and electronics repair, like unclipping tabs, moving wires around, plugging in and unplugging those tiny little connectors. And because they're made from nylon, they don't cause a short or scratch up your precious MacBook. But once you start using them, you begin to realize just how many problems in regular everyday life can be solved using this pokey little nylon stick. You need to scrape something, spudger. You need to poke a hole in something, spudger. You need to wedge something, but you don't want to scratch it, spudger. You want to like clean around some fine details, spudger. You want to, you know, spudge something. It'll do everything. They do have one pretty major flaw though. Uh, they don't last very long. They tend to break. So I have, a lot. I actually looked at 3D printing my own ones and these turned out better than I expected. There's a few different models that you can find online, but I don't think PLA or even FDM printing is the, the best way to make one of these. Yeah. If I really wanted to design and make my own spudges, I'd probably just use the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. First of all, they could SLS print them so you could get a real nice, clean, sharp point and they can print them in nylon, of course. They've even got this 35% glass fiber reinforced nylon to make them extra strong. And if I really wanted to do it the proper way, they could injection mold them. I could never do that. So check them out in the link in the description for whatever your next project is. Okay, so I'm designing a spudger holder, but it still has to be as pointless as possible. So requirements, number one, pointless. I mean, I guess it already is pointless because as I've discussed, Spudger could go in the drawer. Number two, I want it to be like ugly, gaudy. I'm gonna say gaudy, how do you spell gaudy? I want it to stick out. So like physically, I want it to stick out like all the worst tool holders do. But also I just, I want it to be ugly. Like this, this, okay, this is cool, but this like blue and yellow filament, it really stands out. It doesn't match the vibe of my printer. Yeah, my printer has a vibe. Okay, it's a very cool printer. His name is Diesel Ironwood. That's, that's very manly. So we've got to counter that. And number three, it can't hold too many spudges. If it holds too many spudges, then it's a useful thing. So after a bit more staring at my printer, but this time whilst holding a spudger, this is my basic sketch. Okay, time to model this. Man, it's been a long time since I did this. Um...
And this is what I've come up with. No, that's too short. We've got to go again. What? The montage. Do it again. Turn around. We're doing it properly. Okay. Uh, time to model this. I know this isn't the most exciting part of the video, but it's important and I didn't want to skip over it. And trust me, this version is exciting compared to, well, reality. It had been so long since I used Onshape. I've spent so much time making videos recently, I haven't had a chance to actually make a thing. So this took way longer than I expected it to. I could go on, but I think you get the point. And this is what I've come up with. And this one's only the first draft. Now I knew I hadn't optimized this part for 3D printing, but I really had no idea how hard it would be to get these supports out. Making this was actually a real high point in the printer upgrades video. I learned pretty quickly whilst making that video that I'd much rather be making a video like this, where I make stuff and tell a story. Right now, as this is uploaded, I'm actually in the middle of a holiday in North America. I managed to put this video together in under two weeks, which is crazy fast for me. And I already like it way more than the last video. If you also prefer these kind of stories about making videos rather than talking about printed videos, then please leave a like on this video so I can, you know, feel validated. Here's version number two. I added windows at the back and the top to make the supports, well, not easy to get out, but easy. Uh. When I uploaded my first video, I thought I'd be regularly uploading every couple of weeks, but I'm still just learning and I'm super slow. So I've accepted that's just not happening anytime soon. Plus I'd much rather like take the time to make something that I'm proud of than just get a video up. So I'm not sure that I'll have a video out next month. I really just want to enjoy my holiday but I do have a few projects that I've already started that I'm super pumped about. And I really just wanna use that time to make the best videos I can. Big stories about little projects. That's the plan. And here it is, ready to be mounted. Look, I know this is dumb. But making this and making this video is so much more enjoyable than blabbing on about printer upgrades. So I really want to make more videos like this and more, well, stuff that's better than this. And I do have some things planned. So if you enjoyed this video at all, then subscribe. I swear to God, the next makes won't be this dumb. But uh, yeah, as for this thing, looks like there's a few more supports I need to poke and scrape out. Uh, I think I'm gonna need some sort of a specialized tool for that. Anyway, while I go find something, look at this cool thing I made. Bling, bling. Ah, oh, it's done. Let's f it.